I'm Brianna Smith, your neighborhood reporter in Rondo, where the struggle is real. Our neighbors are battling with crickets, with some saying they're seeing hundreds a day. So I talked to the experts for you to find a solution. Nathan Bland and his co-workers at Rollo Insurance in Rockdale are sweeping like never before. Usually we don't have to clean near as often. Crickets are back in Central Texas, but at a force he's never seen. We came in Tuesday morning and there was literally hundreds just inside the inside the front door. Dozens are lining sidewalks and businesses causing odors, noise and annoyance. So I talked to Texas A&M entomology professor Hojin Song to see why. Well, I think that scientists are um, thinking that it's, it's, it's a result of interaction of several environmental conditions. Like a mild winter and wet summer. And those conditions provided optimal situation for, for these crickets population to grow rapidly. And with the lack of natural predators. Then you have a massive growth in population. But one way to prevent crickets from getting in your homes and businesses. These insects are naturally attracted to light. So uh, one way to try to mitigate the situation is turn off the light. And he doesn't advise squishing them since they can stain surfaces or using harmful pesticides. And you can use your, your uh, broomstick to just clean those things out. While Cricket's presence can't be considered a nuisance, Song believes it's a natural phenomenon. I tend to consider it as a small nature's wonder in Texas. We just got to kind of kind of watch out for any more plagues start and make sure there's no frogs falling out of the sky or anything like that. Experts say this cricket problem will probably continue for the next one to two weeks until this population dies off. If any concerns come up, they encourage you to talk to pest control. I'm Brianna Smith, your neighborhood reporter in Rockdale.